What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 6 of the 2023 Halloween special. If you haven't yet watched the first five episodes, I've linked them right up above, please go and do that. So in this episode, we're actually going to be talking about a film that got an insane amount of hype when it was released and when it premiered at festivals. People were calling it the scariest movie of the year, one of the scariest horror movies of the past few years. I looked into it, it was called Talk To Me, it had an ominous poster, and of course, it is an A24 film, and that collection of things was enough to get me just so hyped to see the movie. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see it in theaters, but I was able to catch it on streaming, and I am so happy that I was able to because I really, really enjoyed this film. And it tells the story of a group of friends who discover that they can communicate with the spiritual realm through this embalmed hand that they obtain, but unfortunately must also suffer the consequences when they take it a little too far. So these two directors are brothers and this is their debut feature film, but prior to this they were known for their YouTube channel called Raka Raka, I believe is what it's called, where they would post short films and skits that they were working on and they got a fair amount of, of traction from that. You know, people people watch that channel, people like that channel, it has very good numbers, it's very impressive. I myself, like personally, I'm not very familiar with the channel, I didn't become familiar with it until I got into this movie and the production lore of the whole situation. So me personally, I'm not familiar with anything that these directors really have done prior to this film, but Good for them, man. I mean, I'm doing YouTube and I'm also a filmmaker, so it's inspiring when I see something like this or what Chris Duckman has accomplished with Shelby Oaks. That stuff really inspires me. But because of the fact that I wasn't very familiar with it, I really only watched this movie because of the word of mouth and how much I was hearing about it. First off, this movie has an incredible setup. The opening scene of this film is perfect. It is a perfect way to open a horror film. It is a very impressive one take with some really well orchestrated extras, choreography, lighting, and set design, and also direction, camera and cinematography. Everything about it comes together to make for a really perfect and chilling opening scene. That's also fairly unpredictable because we haven't learned anything about the story yet. We're just observing this opening scene and it definitely works in that shock value kind of way. And this movie is insanely well crafted, which I love that I'm able to say. You know, because when a YouTuber makes a movie, there's sort of an extra amount of pressure there, especially if the YouTuber's channel was specifically about film and talking about films and making their own content and, and their own little projects and things like that. The pressure's higher because you've spent all this time talking about other people's work, making your own little amateur things, and now you're being given money to direct a full feature film with a very big studio that a lot of people respect that's a lot of pressure, and it's very, very nice that this film is as well made as it is. It is so, so well directed. It's insane that this is a directorial debut. It is so well directed, so well shot, and just insanely well crafted. This movie also has awesome characters that are very well written and also extremely well performed. The performances in this movie are truly stellar and, you know, the Academy historically ignores the horror genre, but, you know, we can always hope. I really don't feel like I'm over-exaggerating this. The performances in this movie are really such a big part of the reason why it's so good, why it's so watchable, and why the pace always maintains a steady progression. Sophia Wilde, in particular, is an absolute beast in this film. Her performance is insanely good, so good, one of the best performances that I've seen in a film so far this year, period. Just any film, not even just horror, just period. Any movie that has come out this year, this is one of the best performances. And I don't know if I've seen any of her other work, but if I haven't, this was an insanely good first impression. Now, I have seen a bit of criticism about this movie's plot uh, in regards to it being derivative, not very original, sort of reminding people of a lot of other movies, but I'm actually on the, the other side of this coin. I actually found the execution of this plot to be insanely original, because look, it's pretty much impossible at this point to come up with a wholly original overall idea and concept in Hollywood at this point. So what filmmakers now have to resort to is coming up with an idea, having to accept the fact that maybe some other movies have done it before, but determine how to execute it 
in a more original way, how to put their stamp on that idea, because it really is just almost impossible to come up with a wholly original idea now. And on that front, I think that this film succeeds tremendously. And because the execution of it I found to be so unique and super original and unique to these filmmakers, I actually wasn't reminded of any other movies while I was watching it. I wasn't detached from this film at all thinking like, oh, that kind of reminds me of this or that kind of reminds me of that. None of those thoughts crossed my mind while I was watching the movie because I found the execution to be very unique and personal to these filmmakers and very good. Now I did mention that the progression of the pacing in this movie is pretty well done and it is. I am of the opinion that this film is perfectly paced. It is a 90 minute A24 horror thriller film and it does everything that it needs to do and it does it so well and every scene matters, progresses the plot and the character arcs and therefore makes for a film that I was never once bored watching. And all the factors of that go into this. You know, I feel like people don't talk about enough all the factors that make a film well paced. A lot of things about the movie have to work. The performances have to be good enough to the point where you don't want to look away from the actors, where you don't lose interest in the characters. The cinematography has to be good enough to the point where the look of the film doesn't become too mundane or monotonous to you and therefore you want to keep watching. The dialogue has to be good enough so that you can continue to want to hear the next words out of these characters' mouths. The plot has to be interested enough and executed well enough to keep you hooked. So many things go into making a movie well-paced and very watchable. And I think that this movie perfected many of them. This movie, of course, being a modern day horror film from A24, does deal with very heavy subject matter, some very emotionally dark and heavy and, and tough themes, and it has some, some messages that people have debated about, and people, some people are, you know, they have their interpretations, some people aren't so sure what to make of it, some people are iffy on it at all, they don't really know, like, what the film is exactly trying to say, but I personally feel that this movie handled its very dark and emotionally challenging themes and messages and events and backstories very, very well. It was directly related to the plot of the film. The progression of the plot fleshed out those backstories more and made for well-realized and well-helmed character arcs that I found to be quite satisfyingly executed, especially because of the fact that films that deal with this type of subject matter, specifically, you know, suicide, depression, addiction, these kinds of things are at risk of coming off insensitive or pretentious or shallow. And I, this movie never struck me as any of those things. I think it handled it very, very well. One thing I will say though, is that one of the things that I was getting so excited about when I was hearing about this movie was how intense people were saying it was. People were saying, oh my God, it's so intense. It's so violent. It's so bloody. It's so gory. It's it's incredible. Like they, they, they really did an amazing job. And then I watched the movie and yes, it is very intense. And there are some, there are some scenes in the movie that have some disturbing, violence, but I do feel like that aspect of the movie was very, very overhyped uh, by a lot of people. I mean, there there were, there were have been more violent horror movies than this released just in this year alone. Uh, I think of, I don't know, Evil Dead Rise, for example, is way more violent than this movie, way more intense when it comes to, a, a, when it comes to the violence aspect of it. And it would have been different if people were just saying that this movie was insanely intense because that applies to multiple different fronts, not just violence. It applies to the characters, the performances, the situations, the psychological effect of it. You know, it, it applies to many more things than just violence. But people were particularly building up the violence in this movie. Like they were sort of singling that out like, oh my gosh, the violence, it's so disturbing, it's so shocking. But I think what it is, is yes, there are very good practical effects in this movie used to display the violence. I don't think there was really any CGI used, at least not much or very noticeable CGI used when it comes to the violence in this movie. And it's very shocking when it does happen. But I think that that shock factor of it contributes to people maybe thinking that it's more violent than it actually is. So on that front, movie kind of let me down, but that's not the fault of the movie. That's the fault of everybody hyping it up, uh, like hyping up the violence about this movie. Still very intense. The violence is still messed up. It's still disturbing. Like it still works in the film. I'm just saying that I think people maybe overhyped it a little bit because 
there have been more violent horror movies that have come out within the past year, like Evil Dead Rise. But as far as more positives go, I think that there's some very well done and clever foreshadowing in this movie, which is another thing I've seen some criticism about. People saying, like, this movie is so predictable, like, if, you know, if, if you pick up on the foreshadowing, you can basically know what's going to happen for the rest of the movie. I really didn't get that at all, and I'm curious how in the hell, because there is a scene towards, like, the beginning of this movie that is very obviously a scene that is meant to be foreshadowing. As you're watching, you're like, okay, yes, this is obviously foreshadowing, and it's going to have to do with a character having to do something to another character, likely because of this reason. But that's as far as it goes. I don't really see how you could predict the entire rest of the plot of the movie from that, because, I, like, I don't see how you could predict which character is going to have to do which thing to which character, and why they're going to have to do it. Like, I don't, I don't see how you could draw those conclusions. Sometimes I think people are just critical for the sake of being critical, you know? Like, did, I mean, did you want it to just fly over your head? Like, the filmmakers want you to get it. Like, they want you to understand that it's foreshadowing, and in my opinion, it could have been much more heavy-handed than it was. It, it was a perfect balance, in my opinion. It was enough to the point where, as your average viewer is watching it, they'll be able to tell, okay, this, th this is definitely foreshadowing, but it's not so on the nose to the point where it's like, oh my god, okay, I get it, and this is probably gonna happen. I personally didn't feel that way. I, I did personally feel that it was very well balanced. And sort of branching off from that, I think that this movie has an incredible ending. And I think if the first two thirds of the movie had been executed a little bit differently, maybe I would have found the ending predictable, but I didn't at all. I've seen some other people say that they saw it coming, but I just, that wasn't my experience with the movie. I didn't get that at all. I thought that it was um, a very ballsy ending for this movie, especially when it comes to the themes and the messages that are present within the film, the choice to go with that ending. I mean, that's... <laughs> that takes guts. I personally didn't find it predictable. I thought it was a very good, very heavy way to end the movie, and it stuck with me afterwards. And I have been thinking about the movie and the themes and the messages, and especially the implications of the ending ever since I watched it for the first time, which was you know, kind of a while ago. So so that says a lot about the, the filmmaking and the quality of the ending and the way that I experienced it and the way that I feel it was executed. So yeah, guys, in my opinion, Talk To Me mostly lives up to all of the hype and I encourage you to watch it, especially in today's climate when there's just so many terrible horror films out there. When, when films like this come out, we need to support them. We need to show studios that we want to see more movies like this by paying to watch it, going to the theater, or purchasing it on streaming, because studios are going to look at the financial success of a movie, and that's how they're going to determine whether or not they should make more movies like that. So when movies like this come along, support them. Go support this movie, especially because of the fact um, that it's a directorial debut from people who got their start on YouTube. Obviously, I'm a massive supporter of that. So please do support the movie in any way you can, and I do encourage you to actually watch and, and hopefully enjoy the film as much as I did and as much as so many people have, because I genuinely do feel in agreement with many others that it really is that great. Guys, thank you so much for tuning back into the 2023 Halloween special. Look forward to episode 7 of that special coming to you very, very soon. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. I will see you in the next video. And until then, keep writing, keep shooting, and keep editing.